Okay, so shoulder cars, cars, which is a bit of a mouthful, stands for controlled articular rotations, hence why we say cars, it's a bloody long, long, long way of saying it. But you're basically taking your joint through its biggest range of motion under complete control. So we're gonna do single arms. So you're gonna do 60 seconds on the right arm, then you're gonna do 60 seconds on the left arm. I like to kneel because it takes your body's ability or option to kind of lean back and rotate too much. So I'm just using a pad because I got a dicky left knee. So I'm gonna sit back on my heels. I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna start by rotating it, my thumb as far outwards as it'll go. So there's my limit. So I'm holding it there. I'm gonna raise up overhead. And once I've got as far as I can with a straight arm, I'm gonna start rotating that thumb inwards. So there's my shoulder rotation and I'm not rotating my upper body. I'm trying to pivot on the shoulder joint, rotate it as far around as I can before bringing it back down. I'm also not letting this shoulder roll forwards. I'm keeping my shoulder down. So now my hand is in the opposite direction. My thumb is now pointing inwards. So I'm then gonna reverse that, take it as far back as I can before it feels it needs to rotate. And then I'm very slowly and deliberately rotating the joint overhead. Then I'm back to my thumb pointing that way. Same on the other side. So you would do a minute on that and you can see they're slow and controlled, they're not fast. Rotate my thumb out as far as I can. Lift straight overhead. This one isn't as good. It wants to turn now. So I'm gonna to start to rotate slowly and deliberately through my shoulder. And back around. So now my thumb is pointing the other way. Reverse that. And again, I'm not rounding that shoulder forwards. I'm trying to stay upright. So all of this movement is through the shoulder joint, slowly and deliberately. Back to your start position. If you do this right, it should take quite a lot of effort for you to get to your end range before rotating down. Take your time with these. It's not about how many you can do, it's how much range of motion you can improve through each of those shoulder joints.